Today we're out here at Timberline Homes in Anniston, Alabama, and we're doing a home tour. This home is actually very beautiful. I really like the outside of it. And it's a three bedroom, two bath that will not break the bank. Let's go in and take a look at it. I think you're really gonna love this home. As we walk along the front of the home, you'll notice that it has the lighting in the front. I really like that. It's a good accent feature, especially gives it a lot of curb appeal. And these wooden posts in the front, I really like that as well. You don't have that traditional mobile home style door there. You've got the, the beautiful regular, just like a stick built home with the uh, glass in the front. So I really like that. Let's walk in and, and take a look guys. Oh wow. And it is, the first thing I noticed, it is kind of an open floor plan design again with the, the kitchen and the uh, living room attached together here. Broken up just a little bit by these accent walls here. I really like what they've done in here. It's got drywall throughout. I immediately notice that the uh, heating and air is in the ceiling. And that's a big plus. You guys mention that on the channel a lot. See, it has the fireplace in here. And right above there, they've got a picture there, but that would be a prime spot for a TV. And as we pan over to the kitchen area, you'll see the refrigerator right there and set into its own little cabinet. Plenty of natural lighting in this. Let's walk in. You'll notice the, hard, the faux hardwood floor throughout. Plenty of storage. I like those big hoods as well over the range. You do have your island here. Now they've got two bench seats there. You might could put three small stools there if you choose. Uh, but it fits too really comfortably. And it is inset so that those, uh, those stools slide underneath. And over the island, you'll see the lighting hanging from the ceiling there. And you do have the reset can lighting in here as well. As we pan back around, it'll center you up on the sink. You've got four fairly large windows. Now these windows do not open, but they give you a view of the outside while you're doing dishes. And your dishwasher is sitting to the left here of your sink. You have the industrial style pull down it's pretty much standard these days, I think. I like these sinks. I like them a lot, actually. And we're going to just jet over into the laundry mudroom area. And it also kind of doubles as a butler's closet. And I, we'll tell you about that here in just a second. Uh, and you've got your door coming from the outside right here on the end. And then you've got uh, the area there behind where those extra stools are sitting. And again, they're still staging this home is where you would put your washer and dryer. As we pan back around to the left, and this is something I've never seen before. Uh, let me know what you think about it. They have kind of a little butler closet area here. Uh, and it also has a microwave in here. So the microwave is kind of out of the way of the kitchen. And again, this is more of a uh, home that's not meant to break the bank. So they're having to really uh, use the space the best possible. And I, I think that's probably a pretty good place for it there. It's not far off the kitchen, it's just right here, uh, but it still leaves you plenty of space here along your cabinet so that you're not crowded as well. And we're just gonna pan back across and we're gonna go to the uh, guest side of the house and then we'll, as always, we'll have the master bath and the uh, master bedroom last. As we walk back in here, the first thing we're gonna see is your guest bathroom. And that's just right here off of the living area. And you've got the larger tub. That's one thing I've noticed here at Timberline. They're putting a lot of those larger tubs, even in the guest bathrooms. I really like that. 
So it's got the uh, shower tub combo there. And then you've got the mirror and the sink in your vanity area right here. Again, faux hardwood floors matching throughout in that larger tub. And it's got the place for your soap and all that, shampoo, etc. All right, so let's pan back over and we're going to go in and check uh, guest bedroom number one and guest bedroom number two. And so we're just going to call this one on the left guest bedroom number one. This would be the front side of the house. It's pretty much a standard size room. I don't think you'd probably be comfortable with a king size bed in here, but I think you could very comfortably put, uh, obviously, a, a normal size bed, a, a, a regular bed, or you probably could get a queen in here as well. I, I don't know if you'd want to go any bigger than a queen, though. And this is the closet in here. It does have the wire shelving. You could upgrade it. And it's something I've noticed with the Timberline homes. They have a lot of plugs in here. So I'm counting two on that wall, three, four, and five, six. Uh, about six plugs in this room. Now, it is carpeted in here. So uh, let's walk over to guest bedroom number two. And I would imagine that it's going to be a mirror image of that one. And I, I think it is. And it is facing the back side of the house. Uh, and it looks like, uh, no, it's a little different. Uh, this one has a larger closet in it, it looks like. You can kind of, we'll go call it a small walk-in closet. And they don't have any lights. I don't know if there's a light in here or not. No, I don't think there is. There's not a light in this closet. But uh, you can take about a step inside there. So you've got a little more storage in this bedroom than the other one. So if you had a teenager, it'd probably be a little bit better for them. All right, we're going to go back. And then you'll notice this closet here. And we know that's going to be the heating and air. We're going to open that up. Just let you take a look. And it is the heating and air uh, right there. That's the return. And now we're going to walk back over into the master bedroom area. And real quick, if you are not already following our channel or subscribe, do so. It's free to do. doesn't cost you a thing and it helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Just hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. And if you would, if you want to be really cool to us, hit the thumbs up button. And uh, you see the Ecobee right here. That is where you can control your heating and air from your smartphone, Apple or Android. Either one works just fine. And you can do that from wherever you are in the house if it's connected to Wi-Fi. Now, you've got two windows right here in the master and also two air conditioned slash heating vents either side of the ceiling fan. Uh, so you can pretty much put your bed anywhere you want in here. And let's go into the master bath. Now, I, I forgot to mention there is carpet in here in the master as well, but then you come back to this uh, faux hardwood in the bathroom. And I'm really glad to see that they did that because there's nothing like getting out of the shower and getting your carpet wet. So I'm glad that they didn't put carpet in here. And we're just going to pan around. You do have the two sinks here and you have two separate mirrors for either sink and storage on either side of the sinks as well as below. And you have the step-in shower here as well. Now, they do not have a tub in this uh, model. I don't know if that's a customization feature you could request, but I would imagine you could talk to them about that and just see. Again, I don't know. Uh, we do not work for Timberline or any of these companies that we do the home tours for. Uh, but it does have the bench seat in the shower and has the rain, sh rain head shower overhead as well as the removable wand. And then over behind the door, you've got the uh, kind of this little nook area for your toilet here. And then we're going to go back into the master bedroom and step across to the master closet and take a look in here as well. And in here you have, again, the faux hardwood floors and you have the upgraded shelving and you've got two rows of that and the slotted window for your natural lighting. Also, for lighting overhead at night, you've got your can lighting, and you do have a heating and air return in the ceiling in the walk-in closet as well. So it is temperature controlled in here. Now, 
The big question is, how much is this home? I told you it doesn't break the bank, and I was right. This home is very well priced uh, for what you get. Uh, so let's go take a look at that. Again, if you're not subscribed, be sure to go ahead and take this time to do so and hit the thumbs up icon. If you see something I missed, drop a comment. We always like to see those comments because we read each and every one of them. All right, this home, again, Timberline, the Brandon, it ranges between 150,000 and 155. That is at the time of filming this video. That is subject to change, okay? It is 1,560 square feet. It is three bedrooms, two baths. It's a 32 by 56. Again, Timberline Homes here in Anniston, Alabama. And there is their phone number. And we're going to have everything in the description box below if you want to contact them. Again, this price is subject to change if you watch this video a year or two from now. So be sure to contact them for most recent pricing and any kind of changes you'd like to make to customize this home to make it your own. We're going to go out this door, turn to the right, and we're going to film another home. I think you're going to really enjoy it. Stay with us and watch another video.